what you're worried about, about these sort of mystical explanations that don't have a concrete foundation, like a material foundation, is that you can, you can leverage them to get anything, create a dogmatic point of view that people cannot understand properly, and that allows you to like, be very manipulative and like, program people. It goes one step farther, and okay. I think that it uh, creates a world that doesn't actually matter. Because if you literally, literally, literally. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah. We are concerned about this. And so the narrow consequence of that is that anyone who operates outside of a material basis for their physics mm -hmm. can pretty much say whatever the hell they want <laughs> and make it very convincing because they don't have to abide by physical interactions. It's very hypnotizing to hear these sorts of explanations. And then, yeah, it kicks the door wide open to a whole metaphysics of, well, you just can't understand. The priests understand how it works. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. Like, there was a point in that interview with Wolfram where he was just like, well, you need to study mathematics for a gazillion years, and then you'll you'll get there. And like, when I was a child, I kind of believed that. And I did study mathematics for a gazillion years. And then I got to the top of this py pyramid, and I'm like, this is bullshit. These people have no idea what's going on down there. They just are very good at manipulating these symbols.